Hi boys and girls, it's me, Mrs. Robinson again. Remember me, you're our teacher. Yeah, well, anyway. So today we're going to be doing an art project. Instead of walking around and giving you the art tour, I tried to think about a project that you might be able to do at home uh, because you have the materials already there, okay? So, uh, we are going to be making a paper mache hot air balloon. Okay, so now I'm gonna tell you about your materials list. You're gonna need a bowl. Doesn't have to be fancy. You're going to need to put some newspaper down or some kind of paper to protect your table so your mom won't get mad at you, you know. Then you're gonna need to Go to the trash and maybe find a clean uh, paper, a paper towel or a toilet paper roll. Then I want you to get a cup of water and maybe you could go to your mom and ask her to borrow a cup of flour or half a cup of flour, probably. You know, you could ask her for flour and say that you will sweep the floor afterwards because, uh, you know, it's sort of a trade-off, okay? Then, you could use a plastic cup or a paper cup. You could use some tape and some newspaper. Now, not everybody has newspaper anymore. You know, I mean, they get their news online. So, you could use some recycling paper. You know, the paper that you are just gonna throw out anyway, but you can use it, okay? Now, um, instead of, oh, one more thing you might need is a balloon. Now, not everybody has balloons, I understand this. So if you don't have a balloon, you can take a sheet of newspaper or some kind of paper and, that was this. <laughs> you can crumple it up like this. And then take some tape and make a ball. Okay. So there's two different ways you could do this: tape and newspaper, or a balloon. Now, if you have a balloon, stretch it this way and stretch it that way to make it easier to blow up and blow it up. Then put your two fingers around it, wrap it around, and then put it between your fingers and make a nice little knot. So, you can make it this way or this way. Boys and girls, so this is the first step to our paper mache project. Okay, so I'm gonna take the flour and the consistency, which is like the thickness, of the um, paper mache is very important. You don't want it to be too watery and you don't want it to be too thick, okay? So I'm gonna pour half of my cup of flour into the bowl, okay? If I don't have to use a whole cup, then great. If I need it, it'll be there, okay? Now I'm gonna take my water and I hope you don't mind getting messy because it is a little messy. All right, so I'm gonna pour a little water in there. Now you can use a wooden spoon if you want to, but I usually just end up using my fingers. So I'm going to mix it around. See how it's getting kind of really, really super thick? So then you just add some more water. Thank you, mixing. What you're going for is sort of a paste, okay? Now this looks pretty thick still, right? So I'm gonna add more water. Just a little bit at a time. So if you add too much, it'll be very, very watery and you won't be able to use it. And then no matter how much flour you put in there, it won't be enough. 
start with the flour and you add a little water each time. And if it's kind of gloppy, you know, kind of squish it together like this. I'm gonna use a little bit of water, just a tiny bit more. Mix it. Okay, so that's pretty good. See how that's like goopy, but still workable, okay? All right, so now I have torn up all of these pieces of newspaper, okay? All you have to do, and you might want to warn your mom, warn your mom about this at first, because ripping paper, you know, kind of scares people. You rip it, rip it again, Okay, so you want, so this is like perfect right here. That's the size that you want. It's about the size of your hand, okay? And skinny. So you put that into the paper mache. It looks kind of gross, right? Very gross, boys and girls. So you want to take it and you squeegee it off with your fingers. Now, if you can believe it, I, the first time I ever did paper mache, was when I was in the second grade, and I loved it. Now, I'm putting it on my balloon. Okay. And then, the next, all the other pieces that you're gonna use, squish it out like this on the side of your bowl. You kind of overlap a little bit, so it touches the last piece that you did. And just kind of scrape off some of the goopy stuff. Okay. And you keep going until the balloon is all covered. covering it with paper mache and paper. Then what I want you to do is check it for spots that haven't been covered, the little empty spots, um, and then use a little piece of paper and cover it with more paper mache. Uh, then I want you to kind of feel and scrape with your fingers gently um, all of the stuff that you, know, you might have used too much of. Uh-oh, look, I have a little spot there that didn't get covered. So I'm gonna take a little piece of paper. I still have a little bit of paper mache left. And I'm gonna cover it up if I find it again. Where did it go? There it is. So I'm gonna cover that. Just like that. Now, I'm gonna let it dry on some newspaper for maybe a day or two, because it takes a long time to dry, okay? Now, if you don't have a flower or a balloon, fear not, but first wash your hands. Okay, boys and girls, so over here we have the finished paper mache balloon that um, I left a little bit of space around here so we can get some uh, figures in there to do other things later on. Now we have to have it dry for a couple of days 
So I want you to place it on a paper cup or a regular cup or something like that, just so that it doesn't touch your table or the floor or some newspaper because once it sticks, it's not gonna be so great, okay? So if you don't have flour and you don't have um, any uh, balloons, then what you could use, remember I was telling you before, was just newspaper. And hopefully you have some kind of tape, some paper tape like this, not the, the um, plastic tape, okay? So what all you do is you crumple it up and you make a ball, okay? Now this is the, the much less messy version. This is not paper mache. This is paper mache. This is paper mache. And you might say, Taper Shay, has the woman lost her mind? The answer is no. All right, so you just take the tape and kind of need a lot of it, that's the problem. So I hope you have some. And you just keep covering the ball of paper with tape. So now I want you to get the toilet paper roll or the paper towel roll that you had and cut it in half or if you have a paper towel roll, just cut a section off of it. And then you're going to get a piece of tape and you're going to kind of find the bottom like this and you're going to tape it to your, your ball of Tape. Just kind of put the tape on so it's like this and then take some more tape and tape it around a little bit on and a little bit on here. Then you have a little bit left. So tape that part too. Just keep taping till you can't see anything else. So it just looks like this, but you know, we tape it. And then all you have to do after this is paint it. Now, if you don't have any paint, that's okay too. All you need is markers, okay? So if you have markers, then we can color it and give it a nice pattern. This one over here had some blue dots and you know, if you have some sparkles, you can glue those on if you have glue. If you don't, that's okay, it'll look nice anyway. You can make it stripey or something like that, okay? Now, this part, is a box. If you have a little box, that would be perfect. Do the same thing, you just tape it up, or you're gonna paper mache it if you're doing the paper mache. that's really great but if not just take a sharp pen or pencil and you know make a hole inside make four holes in there and hopefully you have some kind of yarn you can use string you can use a shoelace get creative look around your house see what you have and then you stick your yarn in here and you make it up Tie it once, put it in the hole, tie it twice.
Here we have almost the finished product. I've tied it all the way around the cup. You know, I have little holes here, little holes there, two knots on each hole. Okay, so now you're gonna say, well, how do I hang it, Mrs. Robinson? So what you do is you take some string and you put it on the top like this. Hopefully you haven't colored it or painted it yet. Put another piece of tape out. Kind of make a little X at the top. Okay, I go this way, and I put it this way to make it strong. And then just keep smoothing it to make sure that it's not gonna go anywhere. And then bring both pieces up. Maybe have your mom help you with a little knot at the top. And then you can hang it on something, and you can decorate it any way you like. Okay? And there you have your paper mache or taper mache air balloon. Okay, boys and girls, that's the end of our art project. Now the hard part begins. I want you to clean up the big mess you just made. Then your mom won't be too sad that uh, you're making a mess and uh, she'll, be, she'll be very happy to see you doing another art project next time. Because next time we're going to do something completely different than paper mache. Okay? All right. See you next time.